More fallout from Rhode Island's new marketing campaign. The new promotional video aimed at bringing tourists to Rhode Island used footage from Iceland. Now officials are admitting a mistake was made. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us with the latest developments. Tonight I spoke with the designer who was one of the first to notice the clip in the Rhode Island promotional video was actually from Iceland. He says mistakes like this can happen, but he says the more concerning part is the amount that the state paid for the campaign and the slogan. Imagine a place that feels like home. This Rhode Island promotional video aims to show that, but just 10 seconds in, it takes us to a shot 2,500 miles away. It looked a little bit too modern for most uh, Rhode Island architecture. Corden Luxmore was one of the first to notice that this three second clip was a little out of place. Luxmore Google imaged a similar shot. Some of the structures across the water there. And found this video was taken in Iceland. As a designer himself, Luxmore says oftentimes things like this can easily slip through the cracks. But it does raise some questions in context with the logo about how this project was managed how it was overseen and approved. We reached out to Indie Whip, the Providence-based company that edited the video. The company tells us, quote, Indie Whip had been contracted to edit this presentation video, and we made the decision to insert the content in question during the editing process. The footage in question is of a Rhode Island skateboarder filmed by a Rhode Islander. Again, we sincerely apologize to the state of Rhode Island for this error. Indie Whip has since taken the video down and is editing a new version. Luxmore says the focus should return to the campaign itself that so carries a price tag of $5 million. This is a major investment by the state of Rhode Island, and if we don't get a return on that investment, then we really have not proceeded forward as a state. Andy Webb says most of the images used in the video were provided by Rhode Island's regional tourism offices. Now, Andy Webb says it won't charge the state any more money to fix the video. Reporting live in the control room, I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.